my name is Andy Hancock and welcome back to Sandcastle Snippets where today we're going to do some bucket prep. Um, we use bucket forms in our lessons and lots of people have asked me how we prepare them so we're going to show you that today. We're going to use a 10 gallon bucket, a 2 gallon bucket and a 55 gallon trash can. And there's some tools we use. The tools we use are a blowtorch to just soften the edges, a drill to make the, the pre pre saw hole and then the jigsaw to saw the bottoms out so nice and simple dad get the tools out because you're going to need them one of the things that's very interesting is don't cut the bottom off the bucket don't just slice the top off or the bottom off cut inside the rim because if you cut inside the rim leave yourself about half inch um half an inch on the inside of every edge uh, because that leaves a bit of strength on the top of the bucket so when you come to get it off it doesn't distort as much and it makes it easier and you've got somewhere to grab so you need somewhere to pull the bucket off. So put a bit of a pilot hole in the top. Um, it goes through real fast, so be careful with that. Um, and then we then get the jigsaw and we put the jigsaw blade inside the hole and then off we go, if Andy can actually get it started. Yes, don't put your finger on the blade, Andy. That's good. And um, yes, anytime, Andy, it's fine. Yeah, just help yourself. So then, keep going Andy, and then you, uh, you basically get it going and keep the shoe of the jigsaw next to the line on the side of the bucket and you can keep it fairly even all the way around because we know how everybody likes clean, neat and tidy. And um, so we do that and we just chop it straight out and it doesn't take, it doesn't take long, it takes a few seconds. And then you just go boom and that's it. So one of the things we end up with on the bucket are these little bits of fluff on the edge. You see these little bits I'm peeling off now and whatever. And you can't really get them off with your hand. So what I use is a blowtorch now. And we turn the blowtorch on and then we just melt the edge. We literally just walk around the edge and we just melt those little bubbles of plastic. And you can see them melting there. And we uh, make it nice and soft to handle because we've got to use these things every day. Perhaps, you know, 20 times a day. Um, they get a bit scratchy. I drive sanding them off, it's not quite the same. The blowtorch does a better job. So we use that and then, uh, and that's how we finish them off. So we do the two gallon first and get that done. And then we do the same procedure with the big one. And um, as I say, it's, uh, it's calcium hypochlorite and um, it's what you use for cleaning swimming pools. So the bucket is actually 11 and a half gallons if you measure it, it's not 10 gallons. It's a hundred pound bucket. So it's 100 pounds of powder. So that's the bucket you need, the big one. So you just, again, put the shoe of the, of the jigsaw um, on, right on the line at the edge of the bucket and then you can follow it around and make a nice neat cut all the way around. Um, and uh, as I say, leave about half an inch so you've got somewhere to grab the bucket by and also um, so it leaves that rigidity at the, at the top of the bucket when you're using it for sand. And um, shake all the bits out and then use your blowtorch again, same procedure on all three of them. So we use these big buckets, you can see where they're a bit worn on the bottom, they're actually designed to, um, to uh, drop off a truck and, and not split because they, uh, it's dangerous stuff, it's used for cleaning pools and it's corrosive. If you get these buckets, get mom and dad to clean them out and the easiest way moms and dads is if you're by the beach, you go get a bit of sand, put water in them and sand and then put the lid back on if you have the lid before you've cut the bottom out obviously if you're cleaning them out for the first time and uh, put water and sand or water and dirt in there and squoosh it all around, pick it up and throw it all around and that washes the sides off really well. And then dispose of that properly, obviously. And then the, the big one, we just again put a pilot hole in and we, drew, we, we go inside the second line and we just follow it round. Again, the shoe of the jigsaw, um, the bed of the jigsaw pl or the plate follows it round and uh, turn the old big beast around. And then you come to this sort of bit on the side, which is, meant to have like um, air spaces and what you want to do is just cut right through all those because you don't want those bits at the bottom of the bucket or what's going to be the top of our bucket because they just get in the way when you're uh, when you're loading sand and they tend to grip as well you don't want anything gripping on this thing because it's the surface area is enormous so we just cut right right and as you can see it doesn't take long um, and yes this is a brand new shiny 55 gallon trash can a perfectly good one which I'm cutting the bottom out of so uh, people are usually horrified when they see me do this. Um, I even did it inside the store once. I borrowed a jigsaw and cut all the bottoms out because I didn't want to carry the plastic home because I don't need it. So, um, so then you, as you're getting towards the end, just grab the bottom of it because um, otherwise it'll trap the blade. And then, uh, and then just go back to the hole and again, just burn the, uh, burn the edge and get it all nice, shiny. And um, you can see those little tangs hanging down. They're meant to 
to give you the, the bag, something for the bag to rest on, so um, air is at the bottom, so you can pull the bag out easier. That's the idea. And then there's ribs. People say, do I buy a ribbed trash can or do I buy the flat one? The ribs actually do work. They make it easier to get off, I think. I have got both types, but uh, I think the ribs are slightly better. Um, but as long as you use enough WD-40 or we use PB-50 now, PB-50 uh, blaster, which is a Teflon-based um, spray, um, mainly because it's a lot cheaper than the other stuff. And um, we do that, and then you can see all those bits melting. We just melt all those off. So you can see how flexible this bucket is. You see, it's quite, they're quite thin, really. They're meant to be brute trash cans and things, but they don't, they don't tend to be... They are pretty flexible. They, they, you know, they still weigh 30 pounds when they're empty, so they, but they are very flexible, and that's why we like them, because you can shake them about and make sure all that sand is thoroughly mixed with the water. So you can see here, um, right at the end, uh, yours truly is standing by them, and a um, bit of a blustery day today. And so we've got 55 gallons, then you've got about 11 and a half gallons, then you've got two gallons. Now, if you, I mean, that's a lot of sand. 35 pounds in the little bucket, 200 pounds in the next one, and then 964 pounds in the brute trash can, which is ridiculous, because that means you've got um, nearly 1300 pounds in the air. We'll see you next time on Sandcastle Smith Snippets, Pro Snippets, from South Padre Island in Texas, the Sandcastle capital of the world.